Hey speed schoolers, as you've probably heard, engineering can be a really tough major, but there are a lot of resources to help you succeed, starting with your professors. Make sure you ask them plenty of questions in class and go to their office hours as they really want you to succeed. So just some advice I'd have for incoming freshmen would be the fact that you you're never going to have time to get everything done all at once. Uh, you're going to have, you can't procrastinate. Uh, it'd be best to spread out your study habits evenly and um, set a time out specifically each day and uh, crank out homework as hard as you can. So at the end of the day, you have some space to breathe, relax, go to the gym, make sure you eat healthy, sleep, um, play hard, but study harder. Uh, it's all right if you're nervous. There's no worries about it. Everybody is. Everyone's in the same boat. Um, so my advice to freshmen is to work hard on your calculus class. And I know it's going to be hard, but like think of it, your education like building a house. If you want to have a strong foundation in a house, and uh, foundations are made of concrete, and so we want our concrete to be hard. So our calculus is going to be hard, but once you have that set in stone, um, you're going to build a great future for yourself. My biggest advice to freshmen is to get involved early on. It makes going to school and going to class a lot much easier um, when you find people that are in the same major and have the same interests as you. So whether that's getting involved in Speed School Student Council, um, finding an RSO that you identify with, or a society that's within your major or within your interests, um, it's always great to get involved. It's important to network as much as possible when you're looking for a co-op because it opens several more doors for you. And if I had a piece of advice for first year engineering students, I would say don't be afraid to study in groups. I was pretty isolated my freshman year and I realized as I got older that um, studying in groups and studying with my friends was much more beneficial to me. It made studying more fun and we were able to have more conversations about the content we're learning and it gave me a deeper understanding of what I was getting out of class. And so I would say don't be afraid to study in groups. Uh, my advice is for when you want to go ahead and find a co-op, I would definitely go ahead and take initiative and contact the companies yourselves. Um, whether you get an interview back from a company that's your top choice or one that you might not want exactly, I would go in and take the interview as seriously as possible because you want to open up as many opportunities and have as many choices to pick from. Um, and after an interview, always follow up with a thank you note because that will make you stick out from the rest of the crowd and they'll definitely appreciate that. Uh, I think some advice I would have would be one, find a study buddy. You're definitely going to need that for calculus. Um, work together as much as you can and work by yourself to help yourself improve. And then my other advice would be work hard and play harder. So always do your work, but don't forget to have a little bit of fun in college. My advice for anyone who's looking for a co-op would be to contact the Speed School and staff and the faculty here. They have so many connections with companies and other resources of jobs you might not even know are available as co-ops. So getting those connections with faculty and staff are going to put you in a really great direction for finding a good co-op. Perfect. My advice for new Speed School students at the University of Louisville is to get involved. If you find something out there that you enjoy, go out there and do it. It's something that you'll never regret and something that you'll be able to build other relationships with people on campus and be able to become yourself as a better leader and individual. My best piece of advice for new Cardinals uh, engineers would be to find help as quickly as you can. Even if you don't think you need it, um, REACH or SI, they will um, have tutoring programs that will help you uh, practice for tests and learn the material better so you can do better overall as an engineer. My biggest advice to freshmen is to definitely not forget to or be too afraid to take advantage of the resources around you. So when I first started and classes were getting hard and I didn't understand the material, I started to feel hopeless. But soon after getting encouraged to attend SI sessions and study in groups and talk to professors, um, I felt back on track. And so it's easy to fall behind and be too scared. So uh, definitely take that extra step in order to get back on track. My advice to freshmen is to get involved, take those opportunities to develop your leadership communication skills, because that's what's important out in the real world.